Croatia is the newest member of the European Union. The Balkan state becomes the 28th nation to join the organization. While Croatian leaders tout the advantages of membership, some small businesses are wondering if the move will hurt more than it will help. Roy Ruttenberg has more. The Tresnivacki market in western Zagreb is normally full of vendors selling local goods on a Monday morning. But this Monday, hours after Croatia became the 28th member nation of the European Union, the market is half empty. Vendors like Liliana Dumic must now comply with EU guidelines, requiring, for example, that they keep an automated log of all transactions on new electronic tablets. How can a villager sell potatoes and onions and at the same time work with this register? Can she? Of course she can't. But some say membership is good for business. Elka is a Croatian cable wire manufacturer that does around $100 million of business annually. Its bosses estimate that EU membership will save the company around 1% in costs each year. We are mainly exporting and our market is European Union, mainly. Also, our uh, raw material coming mainly from European Union. So all barriers which we had before now will disappear. Support for and against membership has wavered, but these have pretty much been the arguments being made, that membership will be an advantage for those who can abroad and a disadvantage for those who can't at home. But most agree they just want things to get better. Five years of recession, coupled with a rising public debt and soaring unemployment, have turned daily life for many into a daily struggle. Maybe later things will get a bit better. I don't know. But right now, expenses are really high. We need to wash 10 to 15 cars each day just to survive. Officials insist Europe offers Croatians opportunities. But many here fear membership in the union will simply close doors. Roe Ruttenberg, CCTV, Zagreb.